Hi, and welcome to a quick demonstration of our new Boost speaker by Firehouse Technology. Um, as you can see here, we have them mounted up on uh, a Vulcan uh, 900. Um, it is designed to fit over the larger cruiser bars. The bars on this are one and an eighth. We have mounts for one and an eighth bars as well as inch and a quarter, which is what a lot of Harleys are. On the mounting system itself, as you can see, uh, just a simple bracketing. Um, you bolt it on. Um, we do suggest you use some electrical tape or rubber gasketing down below here just to protect your bar. Um, you can mount them pretty much anywhere on your bar. They will rotate left and right in this direction. Um, so if you're going to put them on the higher side of the bar, we suggest on a flat area. Um, and uh, the speakers themselves are a very simple system. They are Bluetooth and line in. Um, the output on these is about 130 decibels to riders, so they are uh, a pretty good match for most bikes. Um, and if you have a bike that has louder pipes or just a little wind protection, they generally do a pretty good job. Um, the difference between this and our thrust speaker is this is the uh, lower cost model. The casings and whatnot on this are plastic, so they are water resistant up to IP5, which basically means if you get caught in a rainstorm, you're going to be just fine. Um, but the body, uh, the body itself, the casting itself is a plastic body. Um, the bracketing on it is certainly not as significant. Um, the thrust speaker is, is our high-end model, um, which has a higher output and very solid chromed out or blacked out um, metal casings and bodies. So um, that's just kind of the high-end product that we carry for bikes. This will fit on cruiser bars. Um, so it will fit up uh, one and an eighth bars and inch and a quarter bars. We do suggest that you uh, wrap electrical tape or something before you mount to protect your bars, but we will have mounts available for both size bars. As far as wiring goes, um, I just kind of have it slung over here, but most for the most part it's plug and play. Um, and the bottom line really simply is you're going to take one back and you're going to have one to ground and one to positive, and that's pretty much it. Um, so you're going to run it back along the tank, tap into your battery. Um, I've heard some people tap into the headlight. Um, you can probably do that too, but we prefer going back to the battery. And pretty much you now have wired it up. There's no amps to bury like a lot of these um, systems have that requires you to bury an amp under a seat and then run all that cabling up. This basically is just two wires back. Um, the power and controls is a very simple remote control. Here we have it here. Um, well, as we've done is added a little piece of industrial Velcro, put it on the bars, and it locks right in, um, and it does not go anywhere. That will power it on. It'll give you um, volume up, volume down, and to move through your tracks and also play pause. So when you're paired to Bluetooth, you can um, jog through your music if your uh, phone is in your bag, which in this case we have a speaker bag. You can put your phone in the bag, pair up the speakers, and you're good to go. There's also a line in port on this particular model. And the line in, we don't have plugged in right now, but uh, you'll get a cable that is a small three and a half inch millimeter line in. And that allows you to plug directly into your phone um, so you have a direct input. So if you have the phone mounted on your bars or someplace else and you don't want to pair up with Bluetooth or all your music's on your phone and you want to save the battery of your phone, you can direct connect and just use the phone or any other external MP3 player as an output device. Um, as far as... Um, um, the rest of it, it is all pretty much connects together. You're going to have one cable here in the center. It's an RCA jack that you'll connect. We do suggest you wrap all of these connections just in a uh, coating of electrical tape to protect them. But generally, you're not going to have too much of a problem. Um, and overall, as I said, we as um, you'll see as the video spliced in here, you really do have some nice full volume. Um, it uh, it adjusts up and down really well. And uh, again, for those looking for just a simple set of speakers at a very reasonable price, we do warranty everything that we sell. Um, the model you see here is the chrome model. We also have the black model, which has a black uh, mountain base on it. So whatever your preference is. 
If you have any questions, check us out at firehousetechnology.com. We also sell on Amazon and eBay, but most of our products are right on our website here. Um, and we also have a variety of other products and uh, audio solutions for motorcycles, so check us out. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoyed this short instructional video.